Hi, Jake here. Just a um, bit of a heads up on my latest project, which is this e-bike build. Putting this uh, Bafang 1500 watt hub motor onto this 20 year old full suspension bike that I managed to pick up very cheap. Uh, it's, it's been used a handful of times in 20 years, so hopefully all the gear train and all the rest of it will be in good nick. It's all decent quality Shimano stuff, so hopefully it will stand the punishment for a bit longer than it would. Um, upgrading the brakes to hydraulics, just Clark M2 hydraulic brakes. So the standard sensors that come with the Bafang kit are for cable brakes, and obviously I'm going hydraulics, so I'll do a little bit about what I'm going to do there. So this is the Bafang brake lever, um, standard cable brake lever and if you remove these two Phillips screws here and here then this sensor just pulls straight out. It's a simple sensor, that stays pushed in until you pull the brake lever and then that allows it out and that breaks the circuit to the sensor. So dead simple. Um, I want to go with hydraulic brakes. The, um, the actual proper sensors to do this, they're £25 if you buy them in the UK and they'd arrive in a couple of days. But like I said earlier in the video, I'm trying to bring this build in for under a thousand and I'm getting very close there now. Here's the template I've just cut out from a little piece of cereal packet. So the little pencil marks are where I potentially think that cable ties could go. So I've had a look in around the garage for various bits and pieces of uh, I wanted to use some um, some carbon fiber a bit like this type of stuff but I didn't have quite enough so um, I'm gonna have to do it with some aluminium checker plate that I found. It's nice and strong it's probably about three millimeters thick um, what I've done is I've um, I've just sanded up the back surface of it so that the uh, pencil marks stay quite nicely on it so that I can cut it out quite accurately. Part of the reason I've chosen aluminium is I've actually got the correct cutting blade for a jigsaw for aluminium and I've got the correct cutting disc for the um, angle grinder which I cut this off a larger sheet with. So here's the one for the rear brake. Just rough finished but you can see how that's going to work so I might just tidy it up a bit maybe cut that little edge off just in case my hand catches there so here's the one of the plates sort of uh, ground down softened up a bit had to bend this part of it a tiny bit just to make it sit in here a little bit better. Glue gun's just heating up. Uh, I'll just say a little bit about why I'm using hot glue. So I've, I've marked where I'm going to put the glue. I don't want to be smearing glue everywhere and have it sort of gum up the brake levers. Hot glue's warmed up. Just extrude it along there. And quickly go. It's nice and solid because the aluminium brake lever is quite cold. It's pretty much stuck straight away. Put these bits of hard foam. Which I've just... So here we have it on both brakes, all set up, and done, all working with little waterproof socks for both the brake levers. Like so, would I recommend it as 
something to do um, with your brakes. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. It's taken about an hour and a half, two hours in total. Um, if, like me, you're very frustrated at the fact that Bafang sends you some sensors that are almost what you need in a pair of cheap levers, when really it would be better if Bafang had it on their options list in the way that you can opt for different sizes of chain ring and, and things like that, if you could opt for either the cable brake levers and sensors or the, um, the magnetic sensors for hydraulic brakes. But I think we've got round it okay. It's not quite as elegant. I think if I ever came to sell the bike, I'd probably spend the 12 quid and wait the six weeks and um, and put some of the proper magnetic sensors on it. But I'm quite pleased. At the end of the day, I wanted to see if it would work as well. And there's only really one way of finding out in these things. So yeah, ready to push on with the rest of the install. Just a brief addition to say, overnight, we're on day two, the... Um, the little foam blocks under here have crushed, so I need to replace those. So I found a couple of tiny offcuts from a piece of laminate flooring, so this is much harder plastic material than the foam that I used that was closed cell foam, but unfortunately over time it crushed and then changed the clearance to the lever and stopped working. 